folks. This is something that we got a call about earlier today. A tip on the tip line from all people, Mr. Joel Skousen, and we'll be talking to him in just one moment. Reddit, Mozilla, and others planned huge online protest against NSA for July 4th. And for more on this, we have him joining us now, Mr. Joel Skousen. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Skousen. My pleasure to be with you today. All right, now you called into the Alex Jones radio show today and you said, did you guys know that there's going to be a big protest at one of the NSA centers? Can you fill us in on that? Well, the main NSA center uh, that is going to open in September is in Bluffdale, Utah. It's a real embarrassment to our state to have bent over backwards to try to gain this so-called uh, uh, jobs and money uh, gain for the state and bringing in this data center. Now that the NSA spy scandal has broken and we know that the NSA is spying on everything, cell phones as well as emails, financial information, credit cards, all of that information is going to be stored at the data center in Bluffdale, Utah, as well as the new one that they're upgrading in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. So we feel very strongly it's time for Utahns to show their protest of having this center in its midst. Uh, we're hoping to get a lot of uh, media coverage here on the 4th of July. Uh, to try to get the impression that not everybody in Utah is pleased to have a major government center like this, uh, you know, a violation of the Fourth Amendment right here in Utah. Yes, and we see these things all over. The one that you talked about in San Antonio, I've actually been there myself. I encountered some guards there, and they said, hey, what are you guys doing out here? We were just filming on the sidewalk, or maybe we turned a little bit into their driveway, but they pulled up in a uh, controlled three-car you know, one of those things like you see in the movie, they hop out. What are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here? And Alex, we were talking to Alex on the phone. He said, hey, hand him an article saying that the, uh, the NSA has lost cases, saying that reporters can't, you know, report on uh, their findings there. But more of what you said, can we put up that article, guys? This is from the Huffington Post. This is Reddit, Mozilla, and others planned huge online protest against NSA for 4th of July. And Mr. Skousen, uh, we don't have an NSA center here in uh, Austin, well, at least not an official one anyway, and, but they will have a rally at the Capitol building. So would you recommend people go to the Capitol buildings if they can't make it to an NSA center? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think we need to really show that America is very upset by this NSA revelation. There's no hint of contrition in the government about spying. They're simply justifying this as they do always with the phony war on terror. We need to really begin to get America um, up front with the media to show that we are very upset with the spying and that we want an end to it. Now, realistically, uh, they won't shut down this spy center because of our protest and they won't, um, even if they did say they were going to stop spying, we couldn't trust the government to do so. Mm -hmm. But I think the major objective of this NSA protest here in Utah on the 4th of July is to get media coverage sufficient that people begin to think that, yeah, maybe other people object to this just like I do. Right, right now, the media isn't showing any major objection from the American public to this NSA spying. Yes, that's right, because every time you turn on one of the major networks, you know, it's a group of pundits sitting around like, yeah, they spy on us. Yeah, they've been lying about it for years, but what's the big deal? And we think about Mr. Snowden as well as other whistleblowers, and he said his biggest concern is that this information will come out and the American people would do nothing about it. Yes, and that's my greatest fear. I always thought, as I wrote in the World Affairs Brief, if anything ought to wake up the American public, it's the fact that the government lied about closing down DARPA's total awareness system. In fact, they didn't shut it down. They kept moving forward until they've got it totally implemented now. And now their biggest problem is storage space. Let me just say as a practical matter here, for those in Utah listening to this Alex Jones broadcast, uh, the way to meet for this rally is to go down Redwood Road south until you get across from the main gate to Camp Williams. This will put you right on the side of the road where the NSA center is being built. It's the closest we can get to it. There will be speakers there, including myself. If you want to meet me there, I'd be happy to talk to you. Uh, Dr. Truott will be there as well and many other patriots in Utah speaking on this issue. And do you have a time to meet? Nine o'clock on uh, tomorrow morning, 4th of July, and it'll only last about an hour, so if you've got other activities during the day, you'll still be able to get to those. All right, that's good. Now, I'm going to ask you briefly, uh, today we reported on some news of a low-flying airplane coming through the city of Austin, and I do believe you said you didn't have a chance to take a look at that footage, but just the notion, uh, I believe you're a military man yourself, what do you think about a low-flying plane coming through a city, a major city such as Austin? 
as a pilot, I can tell you that it's uh, illegal for any aircraft to fly below 1,000 feet or 2,000 feet within a populated area like Austin. So in order to do that, they have to be, of course, uh, have special military permission or, uh, in many cases, um, you know, dark side permission of the government. And I think that's what's occurring here. Yes, and, and Alex was very concerned, as were we. You know, many people in Austin said they spotted the, the airplane. We saw it here at our studios. Various people saw it downtown in various other locations, not to mention I saw a helicopter flying around my apartment building the other day. I'm not saying that's, uh, there it is right there on the screen for our viewers. I'm not necessarily saying that was related to what we saw today, but uh, a lot of people were very concerned about that, Mr. Skousen. What was disturbing, though, is there have been other military maneuvers uh, in downtown city locations, and when civilians begin to film it with their cell phone, you have police and military coming up and demanding that they shut off their cameras. Mm -hmm. Just and like in course, Boston, just like in Boston. Exactly, and this is illegal, of course. It's in a public space. They've not made a warning. They've not taped the area off. It's uh, public property, and they kept saying this is city property, and said, that's right, it's public property. And we are allowed to film here, but they arrested the person. So what, what I'm worried about is judges are no longer upholding the rule of law about defending Americans' right to film and to watch things that are in the public domain. Exactly. So you're doing this thing in Utah, which I definitely hope people would go out to. Was there anything else that you would recommend to people? Uh, I remember briefly, uh, well, not briefly, but earlier this year, there were talks about having various armed marches at capitals. Would you... I support anything like that? Well, I, I do uh, feel it's important not to do things that provoke uh, government unnecessarily, as the Adam Kokesh wanted to march in D.C., where the uh, you know arms are illegal. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to change anything, and uh, uh, so I'm not in favor of that particular march. I am, of course, much in favor of demonstrating wherever we need to about the right to bear arms. Uh, especially relative to the U.N. Treaty on Arms and uh, any further encroachments of the Second Amendment. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Skousen, we've been reporting here at InfoWars various uh, police brutalities. We saw yesterday uh, a clip of a gentleman had his dog shot because the gentleman was arrested for filming police. Also, uh, we have a report just today about two women being uh, cavity searched on the side of the road for marijuana. Uh, you know, is this the type of government encroachment that you're speaking of? Well, it is. And once again, as I say, the reason the government has been reluctant to do these things before is that they could get hauled before a judge and be sanctioned for this kind of behavior. This just doesn't happen anymore. I, as long as, uh, as well as William Grigg Jr., who's probably cataloged more cases of police abuse and thuggery on his uh, website uh, than anyone else, uh, what's decidedly disturbing is that the courts are no longer siding with victims of police brutality anymore. They let them go and they say, you know, who we, it's not up to us to second guess police intentions here. Well, it is up to the courts to, uh, to determine police intentions and to determine police compliance with the law. And they're not doing that anymore. So we've lost our third leg of the um, uh, government. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, Mr. Skousen, we've come to the end of our time. Can you give us your closing thoughts? It's really important that I think people uh, begin to register our discontent with this NSA spying. Let the government know we're not going to take this in anymore. Thank you very much. Thanks for your help, gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Mr. Skousen. And there he goes, Mr. Joel Skousen, the author of The Secure Home and also Strategic Relocation, both available in the InfoWars shop. Now, we'll finish here with our last article. National Intelligence Director apologizes for lying to Congress. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not? Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently, perhaps, uh, collect, not wittingly. Not wittingly, he says. And if you go and watch that full clip on Infowars.com, you can see Ms. Diane Feinstein saying, well, maybe he just didn't understand the question, but you saw it just as well as I did. The guy said, does the NSA collect any type of information on people? And the guy says, well, not wittingly. And later on, he has to say this. Let's go take a look at the article. My response was clearly erroneous, for which I apologize. So there you go. You know, he... Uh, goes and gives you the, the big whopper there, then says, oh, I'm sorry. And as the, the OTS points out right there, he's sorry that he lied. He's also sorry that he got caught. So, well, at least he admitted he was lying. So.
We'll give you that much. Now, that's the end of our news portion. We'll go now to our quote of the day. This from Woodrow Wilson. We are no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and by the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and the duress of small groups of dominant men. That by Woodrow Wilson. Now, stay tuned, because as I alluded to earlier, Mr. John Major is going to be joining us again right after this break. So go to the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest magazine. and got it right here, a nice glossy cover, and also the, uh, the bumper stickers inside. These are real good quality bumper stickers that last uh, quite a long while. So be sure to pick that up at the InfoWars shop. And also stop by PrisonPlanet.tv. Get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can get it all right there. The Alex Jones Show, the Rants, the InfoWars Nightly News. All that's right there at the InfoWars, excuse me, at PrisonPlanet.tv. So stay tuned. We'll be back right after this break with Mr. John Major. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate, tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is free humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. 
Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.